hello lovelies welcome to my channel once again where we create magic so in today's video i'm going to be showing you the sewing tutorial of this dress this two-piece dress so if you're not subscribed do what to subscribe and join the family don't forget to like share comment as well okay so for this um dress um we'll just be making the skirt first of all if you've not seen the cutting tutorial of this dress please do well to see it the link is going to be in the description box below okay so i'm just going to first of all take um the skirt place it the right side facing each other because you're going to be sewing from the wrong side all right so what i'm going to be doing first of all is pinning down the both sides together okay i'm going to pin all the way down all right this helps to secure the material so it doesn't shift when you will sew in it okay so just pin both sides making sure that they are equal all right make sure that it is very very equal okay So just pin I'm going to pin the last part now and then pin the other side as well and now the next thing um, going to be doing is I'll be marking out one one inch on both sides okay with that one inch on both sides I'm going to be joining the skirt all right remember why if you've seen um, the cutting tutorial uh, we added half inch to the measurements okay while we were cutting right because it's a stretch material now that we'll be sewing this we'll be marking down one one inch this is because um we don't want it to be loose after we're done sewing it remember it's a stretch material okay so i'm just going to mark one one inch down and then sew this to the bottom part and then do the same on the other side all right So now that we're done sewing the both sides together, I'm just going to flip it over like that, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is to fold the down part of this skirt, alright? Now I'm going to be folding it from that point where I marked 
so what i'm going to do is just to fold it in making sure that i'm folding in from that point okay and then i'll hold it down with my pin and then i will do the same on the other part again making sure that i'm folding from the point where i marked and then i will hold it down with my pin as well then i will go ahead and place the skirt well making sure that all the folds are equal and i will be pinning them down holding them down with my pin as well so just make sure that when you're doing this make sure that it is equal very very equal all right hold it down with your pin the reason why i'm holding this down is for easy sewing all right to make sure that it is straight and also it makes it easy for you to sew all right so i suggest you do this as well okay hold it down with your pin like that so when you are done with this the next thing is just make a one fold all right just make a one fold like that just same watch me do it like this fold it in once okay and then you go ahead and sew all round okay So now that we're done um, sewing this, this is the finished um, outcome. So the next thing I'm going to do is to attach the band of the skirt to it. Okay, so I'm just going to take the band. Now first things first, you're going to join the band together. Okay, join it together like that so it's half inch sewing allowance just um, place it like that so remember to lock your stitches at the beginning and at the ending parts of the sewing okay this applies to anytime you're sewing lock your stitches okay now i'm going to open the fold like that open it flat like that and fold it together okay now fold it together and then pin it to the skirt round all right pin it round on the skirt just um pay very good attention and you will understand so with one side of the skirt i'm going to place it on the joining part of the band okay and then i'll pin it down like that pin it down secure it to the uh, skirt and then I'm going to pin all the way round okay please guys let me know where you are watching me from all right let me know where you are watching me from please I would love to know in the comment section <laughs> thank you for watching to this point I really appreciate you thank you so much and 
God bless you. Please, if you're not subscribed, do what to subscribe, like, comment, share, turn on the notification bell to get notified each time I post a new video. Trust me, I have great content up my sleeve for you guys. Right? So, back to the sewing. Now that we are done pinning this down, make sure you secure it nicely. All right yeah we'll go ahead and sew with half inch sew all the way round okay So now we're done sewing the skirt. I'm just going to go ahead and iron it. So this is the finished look of the skirt. I'm done ironing. Everything nice, flat, no bumps, nothing, nothing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to set this aside. And then we get to working on the top. Okay, so for the top, I'm going to set um, the sleeve, the band, every other thing aside okay and we'll start with the bodies of the top okay so first of all we'll be joining the shoulder together okay so you open both the front and the back right side face facing each other okay the right side facing each other and you're gonna go ahead and join the shoulder together by half inch allowance okay remember to secure your stitches lock your stitches and please do keep a straight line when you are sewing okay it is very important it makes your work come out clean and neat without any bomb bomb anywhere okay so i'm going to do the same on both sides as well okay So now that we're done with the sewing of the shoulder, the next thing is to work on the neck parts. So with this strap, I'm going to be um, piping the neck parts, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just, um, first of all, fold and turn this um, top to the right side, okay? So from the um, wrong side, I'm going to be placing this long strap you see me holding 
I'm going to be placing it on the neck part. Then I will sew all the way. Now, before you sew this, make sure that um, you're placing your shoulder well. Okay. And again, do not start from the beginning, like from the tip of the strap. Leave about two or two and a half inches. Okay. Before you start sewing. And then when you get to the v part of the front neck all right with your needle still inside the dress you raise up your press foot and you turn and sew all the way to the back okay so watch carefully so you can understand what i am saying <laughs> so watch carefully guys just so now to the v point you with your needle still inside the dress raise up the press foot turn your material around and then you sew hope you understand me now So now when you get um, to the back, okay, to the back neck of the dress, do not sew all the way to the end. Now the same, the same thing you did when you were, uh, when you started placing the strap, leave some few inches, take the material of the machine and then join the strap together. Okay, making sure that the space you left on the neck and then the one on the strap is the same okay and then you join this the strap together okay join it together like that join it together and then cut off the excess Yeah, so this is Michigan if it is equal and then it is equal. Cut of the SS um, strap and then you go ahead and complete the sewing. Okay, now go ahead and complete the sewing. So now that you're done sewing, with your scissors, you notch the neck, especially the V part of the neck. Notch it down. Okay. Notch, notch, notch. In fact, notch it all the way around to the back. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean by just those small, small cuts is what I mean by notching. Now you fold your matte day strap double folding. Okay, you fold the first time, then fold the second time on top of the um, material, and then you go ahead and sew round. Okay.
So, now that you're done sewing, the next thing to do in order to get the V part of the neck out very well is to hold your mat uh, the shoulder together and then give a small sewing layer like that on the neck point, okay? That is at the middle front of the neck, alright? You just hold it like so and then you sew lock the stitches very very well it is very important okay so you sew like that yeah so now i'm just going to go ahead and turn this to the right side and then iron this down so you can see what the neck looks like okay so this is the neck I'm done ironing it you see how my a nice and neat and flat it is okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this to the wrong side Turn to the wrong side and pin the front to the back on both sides okay pin it on both sides remember pinning it helps you to um, secure the material so that it doesn't move when you are sewing it okay it also helps you get like an equal sewing of the front and the back so that the back will not be bigger than the front and the front will not be smaller than the back or bigger than the back okay so you pin on both sides all the way down yeah so the next thing we are going to do is pick up the tape and then mark one one inch all through okay on both sides mark one one inch for the bust and the waist Mark on one inch down. Do the same thing on the other side. Mark on one inch as well. Now on this other side. Okay. On this other side from the down, from the waist of the material yeah the way you, the place you see me pointing at now mark out two inches we'll be leaving a gap of two inches so this place that i marked now is where will be uh, the sewing is going to end on the other side okay so now let's go ahead and sew So now that we're done sewing, the next thing to do is to open the uh, that part where you have the two inch gap, open it up, give it um, a double fold like that, and then sew, okay? Sew to hold it down, yeah. Then turn over to the other side, fold as well. and sew it down yeah so this is it 
Now that we are done with this part, the next thing is to flip it over to the right side and then make um, a cutter, okay, at the down part of the material. Alright, so for you to make this gather okay you have to set your machine to the loose stitches so since i'm using an electric machine the loose stitches is at number five i'm going to set the machine at number five okay and then i will sew all the way round being careful with it and making sure that the rope does the thread does not cut halfway okay now for making my gathers i love to use more than one line I use two lines to make my cutter, sometimes three lines to make my cutter, depending on the material that I am working with. Reason is that the cutter made with two or three lines kind of um, stays arranged more than the one made with just a single thread. You understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah, so it stays more organized and more gathered than um, the one made with single thread. So I'm just going to go ahead and run the second stitches now. Okay, trim off the thread at the up part because the one at the down part is called, is what you're going to be um gathering the material with. Okay, yeah. So go ahead and sew all the way to the end okay and then you cut off the excess thread remember do not lock your stitches when you will want to make a gather do not lock this because once you lock the stitches it's not going to gather anymore okay so when you're making a gather do not lock the stitches but when you are sewing like a normal sewing they say you can lock your stitches okay so i'm just going to gather this carefully until i get to the waist circumference which is 29 and 29 and 29 by 2 is 14 and a half okay So now we're done with the gather and I've gotten my 14 and a half. So the next thing to do is to place my band. Okay, mark out the 14 and a half, which is circumference of the waist. Mark it and then uh, mark it at the other part of the um, band as well. Okay, just going to go ahead and maybe just make a little notch. Then I'll do the same on the other part too. Now, after I've done that, I'll just fold it and sew from that mark that I made to all the way down, all right, to the end of the um, band, okay? That is the rope area. I'm just going to sew it like that down to the other part. And then once I'm done doing that, 
I will sew on the other side as well okay so this is just me marking marking where I'm going to start the sewing from all right so I'll just separate it like so and then sew all the way to the ending part of the um, the band all right and then I'll do the same on the other side as well So now that I am done sewing this, I'm going to go ahead and turn it out on both sides. Okay, turn it out on both sides and then fix um, this to the top. Alright, just turn it out on both sides. You can use anything to turn it out, you can use your scissors if that is what you have handy. You can use anything that will help you to turn it out. Okay, turn it out on both sides. Now after you've done turning it out, you realize that the part that you did not sew now stays at the center. So that part that is not sewn, is what you attach to your top okay sorry i did not show you guys when i started doing this yeah and then now i'm done um i'm done with it and this is how it turned out the cutters is well organized and then the um the rope is well ironed and flat so now let's work on the shoulder and on the sleeve sorry the armhole and the sleeve okay now i'm just going to fold this into two all right fold it into two and secure it with a pin okay now you remember that if you watched um this cutting tutorial i added one inch allowance to the shoulder while we were cutting it okay so um what i'm going to be doing now is removing that one inch that we added to the shoulder while we were cutting it so that the shoulder doesn't um be off board <laughs> be too much or be off the shoulder level okay so i'm just going to remove that one inch that we added while we were cutting it and then i will mark the down part at seven okay now connect the line and then make a good arc like make an arc okay and then cut it off now this is me making sure that the armhole is the exit um, measurement I want it to be which is 8 inches when I measure round okay now this differs by measurement it differs from person to person so if the person you're making the dress for is of smaller size than the size I'm using you can reduce if the person is bigger you can increase okay so that is it now that we're done let me confirm that it is at eight yeah perfect it is at eight okay so I'm going to go ahead and work on the sleeve and fix the sleeve to this dress okay by the time I'm done fixing the sleeve will be done like will be literally done with this dress for real for real for real <laughs> okay so yeah i'm going to pick up the black material and then work on the sleeve so the first thing i do with the sleeve is to join it together as you can see where i joined it from and then i have my bias to fold the down part over with okay 
so I'm going to place the bias like you seen me do right now and then I will sew round okay so after we're done sewing i'm going to flip it in like that okay and i will also sew it all the way round okay make sure you're folding it in very well nice flat and neat so all the way around So now that we're done, what is left is attaching the sleeve to the top, okay? I'm going to turn this, um, the top, to the wrong side. <coughs> turn the top to the wrong side like that. Then pick up the sleeve and mark the center point of the sleeve. Now, I'm going to be placing the center point of the sleeve to the shoulder point of the blouse, okay? And then I will pin it down just to secure it and then the um joined part of the sleeve i'm going to be placing it to the um side of the blouse the top rather and pin it down as well okay so when you're done pinning this down just go ahead and sew all the way around and when you're done when we are done with this um, sleeve, we'll go ahead and do it on the other parts of the sleeve as well, okay? And so now this is the top we are done with this top I hope you enjoyed this video guys so this is the finished product the skirt and the top I hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next video bye and love you